Hi, and welcome to Hydros. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add and configure a float switch using one of the zero to 10 volt input ports. We'll need a two wire magnetic float switch. You can find many different options on Amazon or eBay. We'll also need a single 3.5 millimeter mono female jack to bear wire adapter, which you can also find multiple options on Amazon and eBay. Finally, we'll need a Hydro's 0 to 10 volt quad cable that you can purchase at CoralView.com. Connect the two bare ends of the magnetic float switch to the two ends of the 3.5 mono female jack. Use electrical tape to seal the exposed wires and protect them from the elements. Using the Hydro's 0 to 10 volt quad cable, connect the GX12 end to the 0 to 10 volt in port on your Hydro's device. Connect the float switch to one of the ends of the Hydro's quad cable. Remember the color, you will need that later in the video. From the status screen, tap on the three horizontal dots to the right of the inputs label and select add new input. Tap on the plus symbol at the bottom right of the page. Enter the name you wish to assign to your input and tap on create. Under type, select 0 to 10 volt input. Under 0 to 10 volt input mode, select switch. Under 0 to 10 volt input port, select the input number that matches the end of the 0 to 10 volt quad cable color you connected previously. If you connected it to the black end, select input 1. Brown is input 2. Red is 0 to 10 volt input 3 and orange is input 4. For voltage range, set this to 1 to 3 volts. For data type, select water level. For wet when, select inside range. Now, depending on your float switch design, this might be different for you. If for some reason your float switch triggers wet when the float is down, select outside range. Notification level. Since you selected inside range on the previous setting, this option allows you to tell the hydros what to do when the reading is outside the range. Notify when. Set this option to the same value as the wet when option. It'll prompt a notification when the sensor is up or wet. However, if you want the alarm to trigger when the sensor is down or dry, set this to outside range, which is the opposite value of the wet when option. After configuring the input, tap on the yellow bar at the bottom to upload your changes to the cloud and each Hydra's device. Make your way back to the status screen. Now, take the float switch and manually move the magnet up. The controller should show the sensor as wet on the status screen. Lower the magnetic float and the controller should update the input and show dry. If your sensor is showing differently, go back into the 0 to 10 volt input settings page and change the wet when value. 